Uh, and thank you all for, for joining us here at Tintree today for Storage Field Day number two. Um, we're glad that you're here and, and very privileged to have the opportunity uh, to talk to you a little bit. I think we've put some really interesting content together. At least I hope so. I hope you think so. And, and hope we give you some insights into our technology, into the way our products are being used, uh, and some of the, the use cases that we're, we're going after. My name's Jeff Stedman. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Tintree. And in a second, I'll introduce the other, uh, the other participants. I'm going to speak for just a few minutes to get us started, uh, but then try to hand it off as quick as I can to the, the rest of the agenda where we get into some real, uh, real meat of the presentations and some technical depth. Uh, the first uh, topic we're going to go to is VDI and talk a little bit about some recent test results and the methodology we went through with VMware. And to deliver that presentation, we've actually asked some, uh, the person who did the testing at VMware uh, to present to you. So Tristan Todd is here from VMware. He'll be assisted by John Phillips, who's in the Tintree Technical Marketing Team. And they're going to go through uh, the VDI test results and, and how that was done. Uh, I, think, I think a very interesting section. Uh, then we're going to move on to a technical deep dive on the Tintree architecture and give you a chance to ask the, the architects uh, some of the tough questions about how things work inside of a Tintree system. That'll be hosted by Ed Lee and Mark Gritter. Mark Gritter is one of the co-founders of the company. Uh, both of them are, are kind of our core architects here, and, and uh, they're going to do some chalk talk and, and, and go into some of the details on the architecture. Uh, so a good opportunity for you to, uh, to ask the questions about how things work. And then uh, we're going to have a, a customer give you his perspective. We have Rob Gerard from Maples Fund Services here. Uh, he's going to talk for just a few minutes about what he's doing uh, with his uh, virtualization infrastructure and, and how Tintree is a piece of that. Uh, and then, uh, and then we'll move on to give you a quick preview of, of some future technology that's coming from Tintree. Uh, and then we'll wrap up and you can enjoy uh, some more pretzels, beer, and, and of course we've got the uh, shirts for you in the back. So make sure you pick those up. So with that said, then I'm going to just do a, a, a quick update on Tintree. You know, we presented to you six months ago, I guess, when you did Storage Field Day 1. And so I recognize many of you and uh, glad to have you back. And I thought, you know, it's been a busy six months. We've, we've actually accomplished a lot since the last time we talked to you. Uh, we've accomplished a lot in terms of customer traction. So we're now up to about 150 customers. I think when you were here before, it was about 60. So we've really seen that number grow dramatically. What we've also seen is the usage of our systems grow. Today, we're supporting a little over 21,000 virtual machines running in production uh, across all of our systems that are out there. And that represents about 1.6 petabytes of storage that's provisioned on those Tintree appliances uh, that are out in the market. We do have um, some customers that are really pushing the box. We have over 10 customers that are running more than 500 VMs on a single appliance, on, on a single Tintree node. We have about 30 customers that are running more than 200 virtual machines on, uh, on an individual appliance. So we're, we're really starting to see the usage metrics increase. Customers are putting more and more of their production VMs uh, onto the Tintree storage product. We've also completed some product enhancements that we talked to you about in April. So we talked to you, and I think we did a, a preview demo of per VM snapshots and per VM cloning. Um, we've also completed and are certified with our VAAI integration. All of these are now shipping and generally available uh, features within our system. In terms of the VAAI integration, by the way, we are one of only three vendors certified uh, for VAAI on, on NFS, uh, along with EMC and NetApp. So we're, 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 we like to see that out and available. Uh, and then lastly, we've, we've, we've experienced some nice market validation, and I think highlighted by the Best of VMworld Gold Award in the hardware category uh, that we won in, at uh, VMworld this past August. So, so a lot going on uh, with Tintree, and, and a lot going on in the industry as well. We're, we're hearing a lot about this software-defined data center, and of course, virtualization and virtualized workloads are, a, are key to the software-defined data center. This is a, a concept that VMware uh, really put a lot of energy behind it. VMworld, Cisco, and other vendors are embracing this notion of a more soft infrastructure uh, that creates some independence from the physical layer uh, and enables a more dynamic, more agile uh, uh, environment. And the goal there being, of, of course, to produce a virtualized global IT infrastructure that's, that's flexible, that can be automated, that's cost effective, that's, that scales well. Um, and, and really put the whole stack together to support a virtualized uh, data center. 
Now, one of the things about that is storage is really the last layer uh, to really be transformed to support that model and, and to support that software-defined model. And in fact, when you talk to customers going through the process of virtualizing their infrastructure, very, very often storage is the number one pain point. It's, the, it's really where a lot of the problems come in. And that's what led us at Tintree to create what we call VM-aware storage. This idea of bringing a product to market that was purpose-built for virtualized environments. So this idea of a kind of a one-to-one -one mapping between the abstractions supported by the hypervisor and the abstractions supported by storage. So there's direct alignment, which is how essentially a Tintree product works. We, we make the object, if you will, the, the, the unit of management within our system a VM or a VDisk, and not necessarily things like LUNs or volumes or tiers or RAID sets or, or other uh, sort of abstractions that you typically find in a, in a physical-based storage product. And that gives us a lot of VM-aware capabilities, and you're going to hear a lot more about these in detail when Ed and Mark talk, but the idea of per-VM QoS, uh, per-VM monitoring and reporting, per-VM management like cloning and snapshots, the ability to have auto-alignment, um, within the system that's, that's automatic and active uh, versus arbitrary. And, and very tight integration with hypervisor management infrastructure. So things that you expect to see in storage that's designed for virtualization is what we've built into the Tintree platform. And again, you'll have an opportunity to, to hear more about how we do this and how these things work uh, when Ed and, and Mark come up. But at its core of, of a Tintree system, the real value add or, or the real differentiation is in the Tintree file system. And that file system is really built around two concepts and, and really addressing the two key pain points of storage in a virtual environment, one being performance, the other being manageability. And so we, we approach this by developing a file system that first is a <coughs> file system built for Flash. Now our product is a hybrid product. It uses a mix of Flash and disk. But the file system was built for Flash first. So it could be an all-Flash product if we wanted it to. So all of the data that's read and written to the system it goes to Flash first. And then only when we determine that, that data isn't necessary or needed for, to serve I.O. requests, it then gets pushed off to disk. It's not a disk-based file system with Flash as a cache or Flash bolted on. It's a Flash-based file system with disk that's there uh, where we can push cold data to. And that allows us to meet the performance requirements of VMs. And we're able to deliver very cost-effective IOPS. We do treat Flash as first class within the system. And that ultimately gives us the ability to provide a lower cost per workload. And that's really the key metric that a Tintree system delivers, is we're able to support a particular VM load at the lowest possible cost and with the lowest possible footprint. Now, of course, to address the manageability aspect, we wrapped around that Flash file system a VM-aware file system. And, and a VM-aware file system is, is what I talked about a minute ago, a, a file system that, that treats VMs and VDisks as really the core objects of management. And by doing that, we're dramatically simplifying the administration and the manageability of storage within a virtual environment. We're bringing the complexity down. There's nothing to tune. There's nothing to manage. And there's nothing that you have to to kind of go back and change as your workload changes, it will automatically adapt. We give you increased visibility where you're able to actually see on a per VM basis where potential bottlenecks may be coming from. And we allow you to take operations uh, on your data at a per VM level. So rather than snapshotting a whole LUN or a volume or cloning a LUN or a volume, you clone a VM. And, and you're able to work at a level of granularity that you haven't been able to work at before. And this is really what I think sets Tintree apart from, from other hybrid storage products or other, uh, really any other storage product. It's this, this purpose-built platform for virtualization built around Flash and VM-aware file system. And we're going to hear a little bit more about that as we, uh, as we go through the day.